The last question was the type of exceptions. So there are a lot of chances that your follow-up question can be on how you have handled these exceptions sufficiently in your projects. Because please note the unhandled exceptions can cause a major problem that can make a process to get failed or aborted as well. So there are some exception handling mechanisms that can be followed in your process to tackle these exceptions. First, try, catch and throw, which is the classing error handling mechanisms available in many RPA tools. The thumb rule here is to put your workflow into the try block and you catch the exception in the catch block and handle it up properly. In the catch block, you capture any specific exception like a null reference or any generic system exception. So once you catch the exception, you might want to write a log or to do any other desired activity. Also, you can throw the exception. When you throw it, the runtime searches for the most compatible exception handler in your program. So in the case of RPA, you can throw the exception from sub workflows to the main workflow. Also, in case of automation anywhere, there is a special command given specifically to handle error handling that has try, catch, throw, and also take a snapshot and many more. Another important point in logging is you need to make sure that you log all the information about the exception. So it'll be easy for you to debug and also for others who support your process in the production. In many RPA processes, there are some recovery steps followed when any system or application exceptions are faced. Take snapshots. This will be very helpful for debugging. Sometimes you don't know what has happened in your process after an exception. So if there is a snapshot at least that will help you to start your debugging. Email exceptions. Sometimes you may be required to send out an email to business or the technical team to notify about the exception along with all the details. Relaunch all applications. When there is an application exception, you might want to kill all the active applications and relaunch it once again and continue your next transaction. Also to reiterate, in order to debug effectively your process, it's necessary that your process contains efficient logging.